What is going on my friends? The concept of today's video is fairly simple. We're gonna eat as much food as possible without feeling like death or dying. So if you like that, please give the video a like and thank you for being here. Okay, we are on the east side of Austin right now. Much different vibes here than where I live up north. This is what I consider to be a much more authentic part of the city. And I came to a place called Birds Birds Biscuits. I discovered this through my late night Instagram scrolling and I saw some of the pictures here. They look pretty incredible. I've been craving another biscuit sandwich ever since I had Bojangles. I wish we had freaking Bojangles here, man. Okay guys, so really cool place, awesome people, and I am pumped to try out this biscuit sandwich. Take a look at this thing. This thing is freaking stacked, and I also got what they call dodos, which I believe are just like powdered donuts. Check these guys out. I don't know if there's anything in them, but they look pretty fantastic. So on the biscuit, we have cheese, organic egg, and bacon. I asked for no mayonnaise because nobody wants that in their mouth, and these little guys, man, they're almost like hush puppies on steroids. Moment of truth. That is pretty incredible. The biscuit is nice and flaky. They cook the egg to perfection. You can see it's actually dripping just a little bit. Doesn't creep me out that much. All around, just very fresh ingredients. This is great. Let me know in the comments below what the best biscuit sandwich is that you've ever had. If you have a Bojangles, that's gotta be up there. I think this place is only here in Austin, so most of you probably have not had the chance to try this one out, but if you ever come around, you definitely should. Let's try these dodo nuts. All I'm gonna say is that they have perfected this. Much different crowd on this side of town for sure. They are definitely keeping Austin weird. But obviously, this is not gonna be in my fitness pal. I'm gonna have to estimate a little bit finding similar foods. So this is gonna be right around 1,000 calories, but we have to keep going, guys. We have to make an interesting video out of this. And one of the most interesting places I could take you, well, you'll see it in a second. Turn left on 30 seconds, sweeties. Okay, so we're headed to East 6, aka Dirty 6, one of the most iconic parts of Austin. There's a place here called Voodoo Donuts that you guys are going to love. You win somehow, so give up on the battle, baby. It's hard, I know. Let the music take over, baby. You guys know that I am team cookie through and through. There's no questions about that. But my buddy Nick Dompierre has me on this donut kick because he starts every one of his cheat days out with donuts. And if you guys want a real food channel, that's who you should be watching. But these things look freaking amazing. So in Austin, what I've heard is the best donuts go between Voodoo and Gordo's, which you guys have seen that I've done that Gordo's video. I might have had a Voodoo Donut at one point in my life. I think someone might have, might have brought them to an event, but I honestly can't remember. So we're gonna try out each and every one of these, starting with this Captain Crunch Donut. I'm not kidding, and please keep your comments somewhat appropriate. I can't even put this thing in my mouth, like. Oh, I can't do it. Oh my God. I'm disqualifying that donut. I can't even eat it. I mean, that's good. Don't get me wrong, but the practicality just, it ruins it for me. If you guys have watched my channel before, you would know the sprinkled donut is my all-time favorite. It's pretty good. It's not the best sprinkled donut that I've ever had, that's for sure. Let's try this one. I mean, you would never know this by looking at the color, but it has a bit of a great hint to it, a grape hint to it. I can't speak, guys. I don't know what I feel about that. Let me, let me try this again. I'm not much of a fan, but this thing, this has my name written all over it. Chocolate, chocolate. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm 
talking about. That is my language right there. And if you guys do watch Nick Dompier's channel, you know all about Team Big Bites. This dude could probably just eat this thing in one bite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Well, you guys saw with that one that that's not my specialty, but <laughs> I better just stop. Oh. I don't know how you do that, man. It takes my breath out of me and all that icing in one bite. Uh-uh. Okay, this is just a plain chocolate donut, I believe. That is a good donut. The chocolate on that is perfect. I don't know about you guys, but when I get something like this, I just feel guilty about eating it. Like, are you gonna eat that guy's head off? Absolutely not. That's just that's just animal cruelty. Oh, see, I just I just heard him. Probably he's oh, is there's that jelly? Ugh. It makes it worse that the jelly looks like blood after I just ate off his leg. This guy never did anything to me. I'm really, really hoping that this is like a Butterfinger donut. Honestly, I don't know what it is. It doesn't have much flavor at all. I mean, it looks good. It just doesn't taste all that great. This donut right here, I don't need to try it. I can tell you this is the worst donut of all time. Everywhere you go, if they have this donut, it always tastes the exact same. My buddy Dan thinks this is a great donut. Dan, what? How do you like this? It just tastes like a, it tastes like a prop. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad, honestly. Uh, original glaze, this will tell you a lot about a donut shop. Wow, really, really disappointed by that. It just, they don't have a whole lot of flavor. It's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is one of the most popular donut shops in the city. Maybe I just got a bad batch or something, but I don't know if this is like a fritter. That's just really bad, I'm gonna be honest. I hate giving bad reviews, I always feel, feel like a jerk, you know? I mean, obviously it's not terrible, but for donuts, not not great, man. Um, this is just a regular powder donut, I guess. Again, very, very bland. To put it in perspective, the donuts from the biscuit place were 10 times better than this. And I, I will never be bought into this whole bacon on donut types of things, but I believe this is like a caramel. I'm telling you, I'm really surprised right now. I thought these were gonna be a lot better than they are. The best, without question, was this chocolate one. And this guy right here, so I'm definitely gonna finish this one off. If I was a question, would you be my answer? If I was the music, would you be the dancer? Okay, so I think I'm gonna track this as like four whole donuts. I feel like that's pretty conservative. I probably had closer to five or six in totality, but I really don't know. It's just gonna be kind of a guess. Now, this in my mind is not the best donut spot in Austin. Gordo's was so much better, and I think I've even had a few other places that were better than Voodoo. I mean, I didn't eat them fresh. I don't know, I could make a bunch of excuses for them. Overall, donuts are donuts in my mind. Still not as good as a chocolate chip cookie, but I need to let that food settle for a little bit and then I'm gonna hit the gym. The best pre-workout stack in the entire world, Cafe Select, 20 grams of protein, 100 milligrams of caffeine, add it to some coffee if you like, or you can just mix it in water. There's all types of different ways to make it, as you can see on the actual bottle. I've got my true creatine. I take five grams every single day, and I always take two scoops of high volume to try to look jacked, big, and veiny. And if you didn't know, 15% link in description. Give it a try. Nothing's louder than the sound of silence. Won't you say something to me, to me, to me? Hundred trumpets and a thousand sirens. When you got nothing to say. Okay, post workout snack time. Here's what we're working with. We have two Rice Krispie treats. Try to get some extra carbs in addition to these airheads. I don't know why I've been eating these on Sundays lately probably because they remind me of myself, but they're pretty good as long as you don't get the hard ones. I hate that. Reminds me of baseball games back in the day. And then of course, the best protein bar in the entire world, Pea Science Fudge Brownie. Did you guys know you can- Found stabbed to death in the master suite. I need to stop watching this true crime daily. I don't know what it is these days. I don't watch any fitness much anymore. Now it's just like rap drama and this mystery murder show. I Okay, there is a restaurant right over my shoulder. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It is called Cilantro. It is one of the best restaurants 
forever. I love it. I go there every single week, at least once a week. This one is right across from the domain, so I can just walk here. It's perfect. But what I discovered is the cilantro on the other end of Burn It actually has burgers. So I got to try that out. Is it going to be better than the burrito? Honestly, I don't know, but I at least have to find out. The only downfall is I have to drive there. We made it to this cilantro, and look over here. They actually have a South Philly deli. I might come back at some point for that. But the kimchi fries, they are unbelievably amazing. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the eighth wonder of the world. The flow of the century. Just take a look at this, guys. We have the loaded kimchi fries, and then the burger we actually got made with the spicy pork, which is one of my favorite things at cilantro, the regular one I used to go to. So this is going to be insane. Okay guys, let's take a bite into this thing. It's incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. You don't need no big production. There's something just like So I know I said Hop Dottie was the best burger in Austin, but I'm starting to rethink that statement. Took the whole head in the back door. It's been seven days, so let's roll yeah. from the UK to Brooklyn they know. Yes, yes. Absolutely amazing. If you're ever in Austin, you have to go to Cilantro. So you guys know that we can't end the night without some dessert. This Briar's Delight ice cream. Do not get the low calorie Briar stuff. That stuff is not good. This stuff is a whole lot better for very, very similar macros. You'd be better off going with something like this. Of course, it's not as good as Halo Top, but what is? All in all, I would say this is like a 7 out of 10. I know somebody is going to be mad that I use the oven to warm up my Pop-Tarts, but I still do not have a toaster. I cannot tell you the last time that I had a Pop-Tart. Remember when everyone was eating Pop-Tarts and If It Fits Your Macros was really popular at the time? I wonder what happened to that. I don't know. I mean, they're kind of overrated, honestly. I'm finally at the point where I feel uncomfortable. So this is where we're gonna stop. And I already know there's gonna be people over here that are like, that's all, that's all you can do, you suck. And there's gonna be people over here like, how did it take 7,000 calories for you to start feeling uncomfortable? And I would say, that's kind of a useless skill. I, I just don't know. I could keep eating and eating even if I don't want to without feeling that bad, but then I get to a point, like if I were to keep try to keep eating, that's where it just becomes miserable. And that's what I used to do with the food challenges. and. It's not gonna happen, guys. So seven, let me see, 7,200 calories, is that right? That's a seven, yeah, I guess so. It is 216 grams of protein, 280 grams of fat, 962 carbs. Oh my gosh. All right, well, good thing I got a big workout tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Thank you all so much for taking time out of day to watch. You could've been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to like this video. That is pretty awesome. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.